Welcome to another episode of 11 Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down episode six of The GOAT. Sorry, this one's a little bit late, folks, if you're watching here on the YouTube channel. Um, got a little busy, a little crazy uh, this week. But uh, outside of that, 14 reality stars moved into the GOAT Manor to face off in a brand new hilarious competition show hosted by Daniel Tosh. They will compete in over 20 challenges, earning and breaking one another's trust as they battle it out for $200,000 and the title of the greatest of all time. Through five episodes so far, we have seen six people be eliminated. Episode one saw Joey Sasso go. Uh, saw episode two saw Taisha, uh, Taisha Adams. Then episode three saw Lawrence Pete Hamilton. Episode four saw Kristen Doty. Last week, we saw this tragic, tragic elimination of Justin slash Alyssa Edwards and Tech Holmes. With Justin gone, the house is a little less full of just being joyous and happy. And the and Jill, while everybody's kind of mourning the loss of Justin in the house, uh, Jill and Devine, uh, Jill and Jay are just chatting at, chatting about how they are going to take one another to the finals. Reza and the squad are trying to figure out how they can get things back on track with two people from his crew being eliminated. Uh, Wendell apologizes to Joe for voting for him, but Joe tells the camera he has a target on Wendell's back now. This week's episode is highlighting celebrity, or I'm sorry, house reality shows. The name of the challenges is Take Me Out. Tosh, <laughs> again. Tosh being as funny as he is. Tosh says each of them will get a Bible, edible underwear, and a rifle. And everybody was freaking out, which is hilarious. But each of the goats will sit under goat meal uh, filled balloons. Balloons. Goat filled. <laughs> goat. Goat meal, like oatmeal, but goat meal filled balloons. And Tosh will reveal a word and they have to unscramble the word correctly they get to if they get it correctly they can pop someone else's balloon if all three of your balloons are popped you will be eliminated from the competition the last person with a balloon over their head wins the competition toss screams out let's eat ass and everybody just famously looks at him i just sorry guys i love tosh uh Let's see here. Day said everyone will start picking who they want out of these uh, out of this. So whoever's bubble they're bursting is going to be telling of what they're doing. Um, the first word was alliance. CJ butchers the word so badly, and it was hilarious. Jill struggled as well. Joe, Day, Pow, Jason get to pick one balloon. Jason popped Wendell's balloon for going after him and voting for him. Jason picked Joe because he never gets his hair messed up. True. I love Jason, and he had like a more elaborate conversation about you know about joe and his love for joe we all love joe joe is a beautiful stunning man day picked reza as well as pow voting for him leaving him with one balloon left already reza poor reza getting eliminated like right out the gate uh let's say divine devon jason and jill win this round uh jason picks jill jill picks wendell he's down to one day knocks reza out of the competition Joe is the next one gone, but before he goes, he takes Wendell with him. Jason, Jill, Day, CJ, and Paolo are left. Four women versus one man. Obviously, CJ is on the team of the men, but it's just it's continually to see the dominance of the women in this household. Uh, Jason picks Day first. J uh, Jill picks uh, Jason, and he's down to one. Day picks Jason, eliminating Jason. Joe is saying the women are smarter, and that's why he's on their team. Joe is correct. CJ picks Day. Uh, Devon, leaving her with one. And then, of course, the next round, CJ eliminates Devon. Uh, Jill, Powell, and CJ are left to battle. Powell eliminates CJ. It's down to Jill and Paolo. The final word was diamonds. Jill wins the competition and is this weekend's go. The girls continue to rule the household. And they're having a pool party. Everybody wants to have fun at the pool party. But as they're having fun, Divine, Devon and Jill are trying to plan their next moves. But they aren't making friends with people doing it. But again, at the end of the day, folks, they're talking strategy. Okay? They're making moves while you're having fun at the pool party. And that's why your group and your alliances are twinkling, dwindling down. Because you keep on not playing the game when the game is right in front of you. Wow, whoosh. Uh, it's time for elimination challenge. Josh jokes, Tosh jokes that Powell will be on the losing team, um, which is hilarious. Um, because she's been in the like the, the elimination part of it like every week so far, I think. Our competition has arrived. Jill picks teams, Jill picks Jason, Wendell, and Devon. 
uh, Joe, CJ, and Paolo, and Reza are on the other team. They're going to have to step on like a balance beam. As they're walking across, they have to hold a rope. They're placing these Lego-style pieces that they have to stack on top of each other, 16 pieces on top. But as you're walking on the balance beam, if you fall off, you have to go back at your piece and start over from the beginning. This competition seemed like probably one of the harder competitions so far. Watch, watching each person walk down this beam was hilarious. Joe and his big feet were having so many issues that he fell so many times. Um, Rez is pissed because Jill stacked the team but wants to take them down anyway. This was a back and forth competition. I I named labeled them Team Jill versus Team Joe just because I like Joe, but Joe just struggled mightily at this competition. Like I said, he had the big feet. There were several times that they had up to twelve and thirteen of them, and both of them just plunged over. Like I can imagine how long some of these competitions took because it blows my mind, like how long it takes sometimes. Now this one seemed very hard, so it doesn't surprise me it took as long as it did. Um. Let's see here. Uh, purple team got their 15th one landed. Wendell was on the verge of making number 16, and they must hold for eight seconds. The purple team wins, meaning CJ, Joe, Reza, and Al is in the bottom of this week, so one of them will go home. CJ thinks that Jill and Day will be targeting her. If they did, they would be smart, considering I think that they are. She is probably the strongest competition remaining for anybody on this show. I just feel that way. I've said that for a little while, and I feel like people are kind of underestimating her. But hopefully somebody opens their eyes and sees it. Resi jockeys for position with Jill, but this was hilarious. Jill has started playing a little bit softly towards the beginning, but she's picking up her game, and we're starting to notice that with her. Just giving it back. They made an alliance day one. Re Team Bravo, Jill, Kristen, uh, and Reza. And then, of course, Joe wasn't trying to hear his bullshit because this is the first time Reza's trying to talk to him since, like, day one. So what are you doing, bro? Like, you can't sit there and do that. You know, you can't come at me when you're down trying to save your ass. Uh, Devon wasn't having it either. It was hilarious. Here we go. Paolo, Joe, Reza, CJ. One of them are heading home. Josh hits joe with the third grade picture joke which is hilarious because he looked like somebody dressed up for his third grade picture uh joe asked jill if she picked a team uh joe asked toss asked jill if he, she picked even teams and reza made fun of her this is true she had the power team i mean big deal who cares but jill ain't quiet no more jill's been giving the business back to people and these two were hilarious kind of going back and forth devon speaks up saying the person there's a person and a player and they can't be mixed together Facts. Devon's preaching the game out here. We're playing a game. Game, game. Sure, you could be friends, but we're playing a game. We're playing for cash prize. We're playing for $200,000. Of course, I'm going to continue to fight for that $200,000. People, get it through your heads. Tosh pretends to read off the votes, which is, again, just a smiley face, which I find hilarious. Reza got the first vote. The next two votes voted for Joe. The next voted for Reza. Two to two. Reza got three. Joe got three. Three to three. Reza got fourth vote and the fifth and final vote, knocking him out of the competition, being our seventh elimination from the show, is Reza. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The men are slowly dwindling down, and it is hilarious to watch, considering they had the numbers just a few weeks ago. Uh, Reza's heading home. Not shocked at all. It really wasn't. It was the perfect person to kind of get rid of. Uh, Reza said he it was a pleasure meeting most of you and staying in touch with most of you and says vote Jill out and gives her the double birds on the way out the door, which is hilarious. This show's fucking funny. I don't care. I love this show. Reza threw his goat on the ground, and but this is was hilarious. Okay, just a few weeks ago when Kirsten, Kristen got eliminated from the show, everybody made fun of how she acted, but then Reza kind of did the same thing. It was hilarious. Um, of course... Because of this, Wendell is feeling the heat because he could be the next one going home, as he should be because he's an incredible competitor. All right. Before we go, Tosh announced that the format of the show tomorrow will be changed forever. We'll be interested to see what they do. We have seven, eight, nine, ten. We have four episodes remaining to crown the GOAT. As I do every week, I'm going to go through and I'm going to tell you who my top three are. It has not changed since last week. Actually, you know what? I lie. It has changed since last week. Okay, my top three right now, I'm going to swap out Wendell right now because of the numbers. So the, who I think is going to win the top three, Devon, I still have winning this competition, even though if they were smart, they would get rid of her already. Devon won. CJ still number two. I think she's flying slightly under the radar, but at the same time, I can expect and see her to make big moves 
Um, at some point, maybe she jockeys for position to finally get Devon out of the competition. And then Jill. Jill made has made her strongest episode yet, strongest moves yet. She showed her power and what her power is capable of doing. So I'm interested in that. All right, folks, let me know who you think is going to win the GOAT. That is it for this week's episode of the Love and Reality Podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'll talk to you guys next week.